what the Israeli military is doing in Gaza is a war crime. In my view, it is. You're on the military side. I'm on the uh, on the legal side. And if it's being done with the knowledge, consent, and support of the American government, and if it's being done with American weapons and ammunition, is not the American administration as liable for war crimes as is the Israeli? Uh, I suppose you could make that argument, but as we said from the very beginning, it's meaningless. We're not we're not a signatory to a whole range of treaties that would involve this. We don't support the uh, international. Court right. of Justice in The Hague. Uh, you could find plenty of reasons to prosecute Americans for things that were done in uh, Iraq and probably Afghanistan. We're not signatories. We don't believe it. We don't support it. It's never going to happen. So I think the question is not relevant, Judge, to be perfectly blunt. Well, we, we are signatories to the UN Charter, which we wrote. We are signatories to the Geneva Conventions, which we wrote. So these are basic rules of behavior for the military, and they prohibit the, the active, aggressive support of what the Israeli Defense Forces are doing, and we're supporting it. But the argument that will be launched in your direction is a very straightforward one. What are we supposed to do about the building that was destroyed? What are we supposed to do about these things? Now, you brought up the 2,000-pound bombs dropped on a refugee camp. That's, that's a much different animal let's face it hmm. but but having said that in the in the rest of these things you're going to do whatever is in the interest of your force to minimize your losses and you try not to kill civilians who happen to be there but you're going to get the argument well if they if they had any sense we warned them to leave they shouldn't have been there and I just, I just don't think that you can make that argument in a court of law against the Israeli Defense Force. Well, I don't think this is ever going to get to, uh, to a court of law, primarily because uh, it just doesn't work that way. There are these problems. Is, is, is Vladimir Putin going to be prosecuted in the ICC? Of, of course, the International Criminal Court. Uh, of course not. But when the you United talk States. about right and wrong and common decency and morality. The Israelis have lost that argument, have they not? Oh, I think they, if they haven't lost it, they're losing it pretty fast. Now, what's really reprehensible to me, though, are, are the people that say, well, they're winning on the ground, but they're losing the moral high ground. Uh, I don't see how you can do one and not the other. <laughs> you know, it's it's incomprehensible to me. If you're losing the moral high ground, then whatever fight you're, you're uh, pushing is not going to work anyway. And again, this is my point at the beginning. In, in this sort of no holds bar, we've had it. Gaza has to go. The people there have been a, a permanent threat to us. We're not going to tolerate this anymore. They've all got to go. That is the end of any future relationship that Israel could possibly have with anyone in the region. Mm. That's the problem. There is no way forward after that. And at some point, and I can't predict when, the region will rise up and they are going to have a tough time surviving it. 